Alright, hello everybody, this is Kirik here, and this is our gameplay portion for Red Faction, Armageddon, and this is part of the review and release series, so I really hope you enjoy it here. Um, we kind of just escaped from the ground, fought off some aliens with our Red Faction brothers, and basically from here, we are just trying to get the relay stations up and running. Um, I'm oh, sorry, not up and running, we're trying to destroy them. So these are the, the cultists. We don't like them. I'm about to show you my favorite weapon here. See that roof? Now it's on your head, motherfucker. See that pole? Now it's in your face, motherfucker. Oh, I kind of missed. See that house? Now the house sleeps in you. Like, the magnet gun is the most badass thing I've ever seen. I love it. Matt, um, I want to say Mass Effect. Um, fuck you. Red Faction. It was always one of my favorite games when it was Red Faction. Uh, what was the one for Xbox? Red Faction Gorilla. I love that game for Xbox. Let's take this tower down. Uh, do that by attaching that to there. Boom, pull out all the supports. And they got nothing to nothing to fight back with that. I might need to heal some of this shit up so I can get up here. It's hard to say. Oh, it wants me to go this way instead. Alright, Manda Gun's my favorite for sure. So I'll showcase a couple of the other weapons I am using right now. Let me heal that up. So I don't know if you saw, but I did do an impact. Um, next guy I'll do, the first thing I'll do is an impact. A rail driver. Ooh, that sounds nice, but I'm alright. Thanks anyway. First half of the payment has been deposited. He's scheduled to arrive early. Hale says he's not to be harmed until the job is over. Gonna be hard not to shoot the bastard in the back of the head. They're talking about me. There's an assault rifle. They're talking about me. It's because they tricked me into fucking opening up some alien shit. Okay, assault rifle, I don't like it. But it is kind of all purpose. But to me, it's boring. Uh, what's this here? Plasma rifle, sweet. Boom, it cuts through shit. So if you want to bring shit down fast, it's not a bad choice. Organic enemies get wrecked. And the last thing I'm carrying with me here is the charge launcher. Hello. Launch it. Blow it up. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. And great for clearing out enemies when there's too many of them in one place. Oh, missed you. Boom. That time I think I got him real good. Yep. He's dead, alright. What the fuck is that? Well, that took care of that problem. Oh, knock me on the fucking ground is what it did. I like that thing in here. I'm a lazy man. I don't walk for my salvage. I fucking zoom it back to me. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll go up to this guy. I'm going to impact him. I'll show you what I mean. And he's run out to him and boom, baby. He sends him flying. Get over here. Melee you in the face. Is that all? Oh, oh. Yeah, you're going to die. You can punch him in the face too. Whoa, hello. Boys, please come down here. I'd like to have a talk with you. Oh, I think I missed him on that one. Oh no, I got him. He came flying into that rock. Goodbye. I can also do this, deploy my shield, keeps bullets out, and if they step inside, they get absolutely fucked. Boom. He's an idiot. Main gun, I think, is still the best, the best thing in my arsenal. Cause I can attach it to a house like this. And when I see something, I just launch it into it. Oh god! Holy shit! That thing picked me up. I wanted the salvage. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Grab the ammo. Grab the salvage. Salvage you use to buy upgrades and things like that. Um, I've been buying the upgrades I like, so I bought the melee upgrade. I've bought a couple of other upgrades, but. A lot of but stuff I, I just kind of ignore. <laughs> Boom, baby. That was a nice, that was a nice magnet gun attack. Oh, oh, get wrecked. See, it wants me to use the impact ability. They really seem to be pushing that in this game. Um, did I need it? No, I just brought down the whole thing with like two shots. Unnecessary. Like, even this tower here, I don't need to go that close to it. There's a cultist I can launch us on, right? That guy right there. Whoop. We still looking good? Bingo, bingo. 
picking up a lot of cultures heading your way. Oh, that one missed. Notice that your plans usually involve me getting shot at. Hey, it builds character. Boom, maybe. All right. The batter in this is pretty crappy, I would say. But boop, get out of here! I'm tired of fighting you. Okay, and I'll launch on that. There's a couple guys coming up the side here. Just wait till one of them. There he goes. Boom! Slammed in the back. Let's put you on this light, shall we? Or oh, just smash you into it. I guess I could just break things with your face. Mason? Who's your character? You're, you're playing as Mason. Mason family is always involved in the Red Faction games. Um, they're practically the Washingtons of Mars. And... Whoa, that was... This is like just, boom, that was actually nice. Nice shot. Up there, please. Right into that fan. Oh, he didn't make it, but he tried. What's this? More ammo. Okay. And the game is... This game is pretty linear. So Red Faction Gorilla, and one day I hope I'll have a chance to review it, um, was super open world. You could just do whatever you wanted, man. You could drive around, blow shit up. It kind of opened up piece by piece. But you still have the choice to dick around when you want to, right? You didn't always have to be doing missions. You could just kind of be a bit of a brick, drive around, wreck some stuff. And I like that the most. You had vehicles. So there are some vehicles in this one, but they're more like little walkers. That's all we got so far. Um, here's the, the upgrade station. So we can check out our upgrades. It goes by story progress. Headshots are effective. That one would be nice. I think I will purchase that. Ammo I don't care about, accuracy I don't care about, clips I don't care about, explosives I don't care. That one will be nice, I use now forge a bit here and there. Health increase will be nice. Increases the size and duration, I do like that. Damage is boosted for a while, I don't care. And that's all the upgrades I think I need from this level. Like I rarely ever use uh, small arms fire or even explosives I use sometimes. When things are getting a little too hairy, but usually I just use the mana gun. You gotta love the mana gun. It says I gotta destroy one more thing, but I don't see it. Oh, okay, it must be over here somewhere. That guy doesn't look like a cultist. That looks like a fucking alien. Maybe it's a suit. Hey, right, whatever it is, I can't log onto it with the mana gun. So I actually might have to use a different weapon here. Holy shit. Luckily, I'm safe inside my thing here. Boom, did that kill him? I think it did. Blew the hell out of him. Alright, guys. I'm gonna get on my fucking nerves. You too. Get out of here. I'm trying to get rid of you. Thank you. I just want the salvage. There's also an achievement I'm looking forward to get. Um, kill a whole five enemies thing is at once with impact. I don't know if I'm gonna get it against these guys. That sounds like more of a. Let's see this guy at the light post. Boom. Sounds like more of an alien thing. But I can give it a shot if they get really bunched up. What I also want to do is launch a guy, I think it was 50 meters or something, with impact. So if I got a guy near a cliff, that'd be a good chance to do that, that kind of move, right? There you go. Boom. Oh, he hit a thing. Dang it. That's too bad. Frank, oh, that place is coming down. Finished. Oh god. Nice work, Mason. Image is coming through crystal clear. Boom. Scrap. We'll regroup in the morning. Roger that. So this game, like I said, it's pretty Me. linear. Uh, the story is kind of obvious. In general, I would say that it's. It's basically not super fleshed out. Characters exist, but none of them really have their own thing going for them. Uh, but it is kind of a neat story. You can run through it pretty quickly. And, you know, it's just engaging enough to keep you playing. So overall, give it a thumbs up. Check it out if you can get it. I got it really cheap on a Humble Bundle, and it was totally worth it. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. 
go watch some more videos. I should have a review coming up as well. And in the meantime, stay safe and have yourself a good time. Oh,